It's important that before we talk about the team members, you must watch the video on sub accounts because the two are very closely linked. Team members you will find up here next to your profile. This is Brizzy Cloud free, which means you only have one sub account, but you can add as many team members to that sub account as you wish. To do that, click on team members and you will see that by default, you are added as an owner. Now to bring in new team members, you add their email address over here, and then you decide the role they will play. That makes the team members area essentially a role manager, similar to what you get on other content management systems. By assigning a role to them, you give them certain privileges and things that they can do when they come onto the project areas. If I make this person a viewer and I click on it, it will send an email to them. They can just accept it. And now they will become part of your team over here. As I hover over here where it says viewer, you can see a list of everything that this person can do. Almost nothing. It does give them access to page preview. Why is that important? A person who is a viewer will have the ability to come to Brizzy Cloud and view the page as it will display on the front end. That is great if you have a client and you just want to show them how the page will look and they can give you feedback. Now, let's say you want to change the role of this person. Currently, they are a viewer. If you click on it, you can make them an editor. Now you see they have access to page preview as well as access to the builder. This means they cannot create projects and they cannot delete projects. They cannot create external pop-ups, websites, and they cannot delete it. They cannot add team members, nothing, but they can build on the websites. So they will be able to preview the page and they will be able to make changes to the website. If you go from editor to designer, of course, a few things change again. Now they can set up integrations. This is useful when you have somebody that works with mailer integration. When you set up a form, now they can come to the form and they can link it to their favorite mailer. And the last one on the list is a manager. This is another top honcho just below the owner. Manager can do everything, change roles, invite new team members, delete leads, create projects, publish projects, except they cannot control this account. This account still belongs to the owner, which is you. If you want to remove a team member, simply click on the X to delete them. Now, the great thing about team members is that you can assign different teams to different sub accounts in Brizzy Cloud Pro. Currently, we're in Brizzy Cloud Free, which only allows you one sub account and that means you can only connect one group of members to this sub account. Let's jump over to Brizzy Cloud Pro. Here in Brizzy Cloud Pro, I've got a number of sub accounts, one, two, three, four. You can see here under personal projects, there's only one person on this team, which is me. If I go to landing pages, you will see now that I have a number of eight team members here. This is ideal to work with client management. Let's say here I've got a big group of people. They all contribute to this project, so I add them to the team. If I don't want them to have access to other projects, I simply go and create a new sub account and I make a different team. This way you can assign specific people to specific projects through the sub account setting.